Power up your art with a dash of color. Hi, I'm Julie Faith Ann Balzer, your host for Make It Artsy. Color and its many combinations and hues is one of the most important elements of any artistic design. And today, we're starting with the effect of high impact colors on black paper, which is one of my favorite things. So I wanna teach you how to draw a face. It's actually a lot easier than you probably think it is. So I'm gonna start out with some dark paper, mainly because it's fun to start on something that isn't a blank white page. So once I have my black paper, I'm gonna be using oil pastels. And oil pastels are actually really forgiving. I think sometimes people think of them as a schmancy fancy fine art supply, but actually they're super easy to use. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and grab any color I want. And I'm actually gonna start with the eyes, okay? And I'm just gonna go in and block out. So far, this is not difficult drawing to kind of, well, eye shapes. After that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna think about what's bright on my face. What sticks out of my face? Well, my nose sticks out. So I'm gonna grab a kind of light color and I'm gonna go ahead and just sort of draw the part of my nose that kind of sticks out. It's got like a little bulb at the bottom and all that kind of stuff. What else sticks out on my face? Okay, so my chin sticks out. So maybe I'll add a little bit of chin sticking out here. My forehead kind of sticks out here. Maybe my brow bone. And now the question is what sticks in? Okay, well, hopefully my eyes are somewhere sunk into my head. So then I might take a darker color and just go ahead and do that. And you don't have to have the two sides of the face be the same at all. You can go ahead and mix up lots of different colors all over the place. So don't feel in any way like colors need to be anything other than fun, right? We're all about having fun. It's not about doing something that's like perfect or right or realistic. This is a fun face. I can even add some color around the nose. Now, the other thing that sticks in is you think, well, okay, I've got some like lines and wrinkles and all that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and shade in some of those places. And maybe I forget, this has an official name, that little um, dip over your lip. Um, and then, you know, even with the lips, there's one part of your lip that's darker than the other. So you can start with one color and then just go ahead and do an even lighter color because your bottom lip tends to stick out a little bit further, okay? And we can lighten up anything else at the same time. Then cheeks, cheeks are always a fun thing. And I'm gonna go ahead. Now I'm not grabbing any particular colors. I'm just kind of thinking anything that sticks out is gonna be light and anything that sticks in is gonna be a little bit more dark. And then I'm just sort of adding color. So now I'm at the point where I wanna sort of fill in the rest of that face shape. And I can actually kind of see, I know this sounds weird, but sometimes when I'm coloring, I feel like the personality of the person that I'm creating is starting to come out a little bit as I create. So I can go ahead and mix basically all the colors. Things like jaw bones and stuff like that tend to be a little bit darker. So you can now layer colors on top of each other. Don't try to necessarily to keep things separate. And if you want, you can use the best blending tool you have. It's your finger. And you can go ahead and you can blend the oil pastels for a nice softer look, which is really nice when you're trying to just smooth two areas of color. And you can use a baby wipe to clean that off if you want. And again, remember the two sides don't have to be different. I even like to use these metallics like gold and mix that in there for a little bit of shine. And again, I might use a clean finger to go ahead in there and blend that. Otherwise, if I use my dirty finger, you'll see I get a little bit of a purple tint to that, which can also be super duper fun. So when it comes to eyes, the whites of the eyes are really important. So you wanna make sure to go ahead and get in there and get those whites of the eyes, okay? That's one of the most important things that we see when we look at a person. The other thing is actually, there's usually a little catch light in the eyes, which I'll tend to put in there. And then this person looks a little bit scared because they don't have an iris, which is the colored part of your eye. So I think this looks like a green eyed person to me. So I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna leave a little bit of black so there's a pupil, but I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my green-eyed person. And boom, this person is starting to look back at me, which is really kind of cool. So I can go in and I can fill in forehead, ears. By the way, your ears are enormous. I want you right now to grab your ear, come across your face. That's right, it goes all the way from your nose to your eyebrow. Isn't that amazing? Ears are ginormously huge, it turns out. So we're gonna go ahead and fill in some of those ginormous ears. 
And now I'm gonna go ahead and fill in more of the forehead, more of the bright spots of the forehead. You can add hair if you wanna add hair. You can continue to leave gaps and do whatever else it is that you want. If you wanna add a neck, go for it. Just remember that again, anywhere that comes towards is gonna to be a little bit brighter and anywhere that recedes is gonna be maybe a darker color. And you have lots and lots of different colors to choose from, so use them all. Use all your colors. Now one of my favorite tips that I give all the time is that white is gonna be your friend. And layering up the color is a great effect. So for instance, I can add a little bit of white right over here to make an eyelid come out. And notice how that is picking up the other colors that are under there. If I highlight the tip of the nose here, it's actually not pure white. It's turning the color that's under there. If I highlight the top of the lip, it's gonna pick up some of the pink from there. So it gets a really nice blendy look where it's picking up the other colors. Even if I go through this whole jawline, right here and adding that white. Notice how it's picking up the purple. It's picking up the sort of gold over here. So it's becoming something else and the face is starting to come together thanks to all these little things that I'm adding. Maybe even a highlight on top of the ear or something like that, but I'm just having fun. There's no point at which you have to stop. There's no point where you have to say, okay, I'm done because you can just keep adding and layering all these different colors. And you can really change the personality of somebody depending on what kind of strokes you give them. So for instance, if I wanna make this person seem maybe a little more model-y, because don't we all have a little inner model in us? I can add just a little bit of shading down around here to give them those cut glass cheekbones, blend it with my finger, and you can see that you get a really cool face. Now, if we look over at some of the finished samples, what you'll see is that you can use this same technique, even not with a face, to create really cute and colorful cards of all kinds. Super fun to give to anybody. Everybody needs a little color in their life.